Hello again, I'm Joel Bartholomew. The children born this year will never know a society without smartphones or ATMs or paper medical records. An increasing number of physicians are digitizing their patient medical records and storing them in computer servers. The hope is eventually a clinician will be able to quickly access our medical records. This can be especially important in emergency situations when patients are unconscious and cannot provide information crucial to their treatment, such as medications they take and any drug allergies they might have. Convenience for us, the patients, is another reason to transfer the medical information on paper to a computer. You would agree that your primary care provider knows the most about your physical condition because he or she has your medical file. Sometimes we need or want to see a specialist. That doctor needs your medical file to understand your medical history. If your medical records are on paper, the primary care physician's office has to make copies. State law requires that your regular doctor must maintain your records for years after your last visit, seven years in many states. So someone in the doctor's office has to feed records into a copy machine to create a duplicate file for the specialist. That takes time to do. The doctor's office can send the records to the specialist, but patients often try to save time by picking them up and delivering them themselves. If your medical file is already on a computer, your records could be copied to a CD or smart drive. If you're thinking, why not just email them to the specialist? The files are often too large, and anyway, the doctor can't, or at least shouldn't do that, because your personal health information is confidential and email is not secure. There are websites, however, that allow secure file sharing like Dropbox, Mediafire, Google Drive, to name a few. Once the files are uploaded, an email is sent to the specialist that the patient medical files are available for him or her to download. The email should not identify the patient by name, again for confidentiality. Now, let's say the unexpected happens. The doctor you've gone to see in the past has died. He had his own practice as many older physicians still do. Fortunately, you've not been ill for a couple of years, so naturally you haven't gone to see him. So when you do need care, you discover that something has happened. After you find a new physician, he or she needs to see your past medical records, but where are they? And can you even get to them? State law exists for people who are living. Situations differ, but some states do not require the preservation of medical records after a physician dies. In the best circumstances, the physician's family has decided to hold on to them, just in case a former patient, like you or me, needs to have access or another physician might buy the late physician's practice, which includes the patient records. Sometimes the practice records are given to a storage company who will charge you a per page fee to gain access to your records. It still may cost you money to retrieve them, but that will likely be money well spent. There is no guarantee that your records, if they're only on paper, will be saved. Putting records on computers is the logical way to preserve them. I hope you think that's the case, because here at Global Med, we certainly do. I'm Joel Bartholomew.